this morning on Good Day Columbia, we're going to go off in search of something pretty cool, a city, a cemetery in fact, but this one is under Lake Murray. Yeah, we're diving to South Carolina. Stay with us from Lake Murray. All right, guys, this morning we're on top, at least for now, of Lake Murray, about to get wet and go under with uh, Andy and the whole rest of the crew here from Watery Dive Center. And, of course, we're, we're exploring the world underneath the water all around South Carolina in this series. And we've been down a couple of times in Lake Murray, but today I'm excited because there's uh, a rumor, and we'll get into a few minutes, there's a city under here. But it really, Andy, kind of opens up the idea that you can, A, get the family together and dive as a family, but no more than to swim around. There's all kinds of things you can do. That's right. Like I said, we usually go diving all over to the Caribbean in warm waters, but uh, local waters have a lot of good stuff, too. Right. I say there's, there's lots of rumors of what's in every man-made lake, which sure. we'll talk about in, in a bit. <laughs> but uh, hopefully we'll, we'll find one of those uh, rumors here in a, in a bit. That should be some pretty cool things. Now, you know, it's really about exploration. It's almost like, uh, what is it, the... Survival of the fittest? No, that's probably not it. It is um, hunting and gathering. It's a manly thing, although I guess girls and kids can do it too. Well, we got a couple of kids over yeah, here. We do have some kids. <laughs> it is, you know, the girls are getting ready to go down with us. They're probably being the ones who find it. But, you know, it's neat because it's really about still adventuring because we don't really know exactly where the cemetery we're going to is. We have an idea, so we're maybe above it, but we're going to go down and try to find it. So it's, that's where the adventure, I think, comes into, right? Ab absolutely. Like now, how, tra how trained do you got to be? Because, you know, we've all been down a good bit, so, you know, this isn't something maybe for beginners and certainly not diving like Rex and Charleston and things like that, right? Correct. I mean, what we're doing today would be good for, you know, newer divers because okay. it's re relatively shallow. It's a good place to uh, practice your buoyancy skills. Okay. We'll definitely use our nav skills today and, and deal right. with some limited is. Are you going to give me a GPS or are you going to let me just swim out there in the middle? Oh, we don't have a GPS, but we'll give you a computer or something. You're right. Math skills. I love it. We're diving today here with the Watery Dive Center. Of course, our uh, all kinds of friends out here on the boats. we got the boats here with Ken Jones, and uh, we're just going to have a great time here on Lake Murray, and uh, you can certainly do it as well. Put links for you at watch.com to Watery and get your boat rentals all done and all that. So stay with us. We're going to get wet here in just a little while above Lake Murray looking for the city below. Adventurous as we're looking for the city and the things that exist under Lake Murray, which, by the way, if you didn't know, was actually man-made. Lake Murray is the area's home of year-round fun in the sun and the water, offering boating, swimming, fishing, and adventure. But Lake Murray wasn't always a lake. In fact, the thousands of acres that now make up the Midlands Pride and Joy was once the home of more than 5,000 families who lived in towns like Wessinger, Cantsville, and Leapart. Lake Murray was named for William Murray, an engineer who in the mid-1920s helped the Lexington Water Power Company, known to us now as SCENG, create this vast waterway, planned as the world's largest power reservoir. This is an opportunity for each of you to see one of the many developments now going on in the South, particularly in South Carolina. We cordially invite you to visit our state and see this mammoth power project, the largest of its kind in the world. The land was purchased from the residents who were paid between $15 and $45 an acre, a far cry from the price tag commanded today for lakefront property. And at an average pay rate of $0.59 cents a day, 2,000 men took the saws and axes, clearing out what would eventually become Lake Murray. At a cost of nearly $20 million, the Drear Shoals Dam, known to most of us simply as the Lake Murray Dam, was created in three sections and in August of 1929 began to collect water. A little over a year later in December of 1930, the switch was turned on and the first spark of power was generated by the lake. Today, far below the surface of this man-made wonder are railroad cars, boats, bomb fragments, buildings, bridges, and although landowners back in the 1920s sold their property and moved on, Many opted not to disturb the final resting place of their loved ones, who even today lie entombed in cemeteries way under Lake Murray. So we always talk about the history of the Midlands, and it's so rich. You think about the Civil War and the things that happened here above ground. But today we're going to explore under the water because there's history under there as well. I do want to thank Aquafund Boat Rentals for supplying the boats and, of course, Watery Dive Center for getting us down in the gear we need to get wet today as we explore underneath Lake Murray here on this good day. Columbia, stay with us. We are coming back. All right, guys, so this morning we're getting ready to get wet and go find the cemetery, or at least one of them, that's underneath Lake Murray. It's going to be an awesome dive thanks to Watery Dive Center. But the other cool thing you can do is if you're not dive certified or maybe you just don't even like the water, 
Although there's rumors whether there's alligators not in the lake, you can always rent a boat, even if you don't have one. Ken Jones from Aquafund Boat Rentals. First of all, thank you for coming out and letting us use your boat so we didn't have to swim all the way from Jake's Landing. Very well. Because that's a 10 mile swim. Yes, it is. Be a long way. Right? <laughs> so we're talking, you know, obviously adventuring down under the water. It's a great family sport to dive and get down. You can explore. Hopefully, hopefully going to find a, the cemetery underneath. But there's a lot of fun to be had topside as well, right? Sure is. You get out here and go skiing, tubing, right. fish, a lot of good fishing out here. Um, a lot of things to do. We rent tubes with the boats. Right. Um, a lot of things to do topside as well as down under. So you don't have to necessarily get wet. You can go out and have some wind in your hair. That's right. Just like that. That's you have the Purple Marlins. How awesome are the Purple Marlins? Well, this year they actually went to Lake Monticello. They did? Yes. They haven't been here? They haven't been here. Did they get, leave a forwarding address? No, they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> they just up and left. We're done. We're done. But no, there's a lot of cool things. Even if you come out and explore along the uh, the shore, there's some great houses. Mm -hmm. There's really, you know, Bomb Island. You've got Bomb Island. You've got uh, Sandy Beach. Hurricane and Cove, Sandy Beach. Five wonderful restaurants over here to eat. So yeah. pull up to, pull up by boat and eat. So guys, you know, we talk about diving being a family sport, not just for the guys, the adults and stuff. 14 years old, Dallas, you are, you're a diver. Yes, I am. Which is awesome. It's kind of a family thing because your, your dad dives with you. Mm -hmm. Why did you want to decide to swim? Well, I always wanted to be a marine biologist. Right. So I figured this is the best way to get started. Just like that, going down and getting wet. Yep. So you go to Watery Dive Center to get certified. What cool things have you seen underwater? I have seen many fish, actually. We saw bass. Right. And just seeing everything under the water, it's a totally different experience from the land. Sure. Is it kind of cool to go out with your dad? It's kind of a family thing, right? You go out with your dad and your family, and it's just you guys do it as a, as a group. We do. It's, and my mom's actually going to get certified, so we can go down as a whole family. That sounds awesome. So you get ready to go down and find the cemetery today? Yes, we are. Hopefully you're going to find it because my bearings, I don't know. <laughs> Andy over at Water, he might be good too, but I'll be swimming like that way when you guys are going that way. I can see it. Right. Well, let's hope you don't do that. <laughs> let's not, guys. We're about to get wet here in search of the cemetery underneath Lake Murray as we are diving South Carolina this morning. Stay with us. After learning about the cities and the history of Lake Murray long before it was Lake Murray, it was time to suit up thanks to our friends at Watery Dive Center and try to find the elusive cemetery that was somewhere in the area of Drear Island. Even with GPS coordinates, finding underwater treasures is often like finding a needle in a haystack. Add to that the relative lack of underwater visibility that is Lake Murray. After dropping down about 20 feet or so below the surface, our exploration team began the task of hovering just above the floor of the lake, looking for anything that might resemble a man-made stone, marking the final resting place of loved ones buried a century ago. After several trips to the surface to reacclimate ourselves with our exact location, it was like finding the best Christmas present ever stashed in the back of mom's closet as we found what appeared to be the edge of a man-made gravestone. Indeed, my dive buddy Jeff Urso and I had found what we were looking for. But as quick as we found it, it disappeared in the dark and the murk underwater. And with that, this part of history, a part of a town long forgotten, once again vanished 20 feet under the water. All right, guys, so all morning long we've been at Lake Murray, and actually under Lake Murray, looking for the elusive cemetery, just one of the towns that actually is at the bottom of uh, Lake Murray here in this man-made ocean. Ocean lake, I suppose, right? Andy Watery Dive Center. Uh, that was so cool to actually go down and find that. It was very eerie to find gravestones down <laughs> yeah. there, man. Yeah, you got lucky. like So you had to use your nav skills to get right. on top of it. We had about five to eight foot of visibility, so it's, mm -hmm. it made it a little bit challenging. But hey, end of the day, hopefully you've got some good shots. Yeah, and you know what's cool is, uh, cool and interesting, it's challenging, is we found it. We went straight up to talk, went straight back down again, or so you thought, and it wasn't there. Yeah. And, you know, certainly the, uh, the cemetery didn't move. We did, but the water and currents, it kind of shows you how, how tough it is really to get down and do that. But, you know, in the, in the toughness, is awesome. Diving is a great, great family sport. A few right. hundred bucks get you going for life, and you can go down like Dally and her mom and dad. 14 years old, mom and dad, a great family sport. Absolutely. All right, we well, do want to thank, uh, of course, Watery Dive Center for keeping us alive, giving us the precious air. Of course, Randy <laughs> Jones, photography as well. We're going to get pictures for you at watch.com. Links are all awesome shots he took. And so we didn't have to swim 10 or 12 miles. <laughs> Aquafund, there it is right there, Aquafund <laughs> Boat Rentals.
<laughs> Ken Jones and his son uh, getting us out and getting us back safe as well. So thank you guys for making that happen. Uh, certainly they can make your dive experience happen for you as well. Put links to everybody up at watch.com. But awesome day. You guys have fun, Dally? You guys all have a good time? Of course. Good day in the water. It's, it's great family fun. It's a fun time. And yes, there is more stuff to find under the water here in South Carolina as we dive South Carolina. Good day. Absolutely.